Uh, yeah, feelings towards that really good. Really filled me with uh, confidence, and um, I could I wasn't really like you come away from a tournament after losing like feeling a bit uh, down, but. Uh, yeah, not at all. From that is yeah, best result by far. And to to think about it as in like you made it to say like the top sixteen level in the world, it's a big uh, it's a big step for me. And yeah, uh, throughout the week, played played pretty consistent. I thought, which is um, something I've been working on. Just what you have to be uh, to get up to the level of the top boys. So I thought I did that quite well. Yeah, I think so. I think um, it just gave me that, like, I, it took away a lot of edginess, I thought. It's, um, and then it just made me think that, like, the plan I had, like, going into it would would do really well. Um, like, I, I didn't go in too nervous. I thought, like, I'm the lower-ranked player and I've just beat him. I've got, got a lot of confidence from, like, previous results. So I just thought um, there's nothing to lose. And then when I get into that, mindset I usually play quite well which is what which is what happened yeah yeah it was it was um it was a step up yeah I've I've only in terms of like top players I've only really played I've only been on court with like James Nick and who else yeah top player Rosner once um so it, it was like a different level to what I was used to and it was good to like just learn from it, really. And it was good to... I think in the first game, I, I came out and surprised them a bit. Like, uh, in like a few things that I can do with, like, putting away loose shots and stuff. But then he completely flipped the uh, the pressure. Like, he, he didn't he didn't give me any options after that. He, he put me under a lot of pressure. And, yeah, it was... Um, it was good, good to experience it, really. I thought I learned quite a lot from it. Yeah. Yeah. I coming out of lockdown, yeah, and then I had I had Manchester, Qatar, and Egyptian Open. It was like it was like I was finding the it was like I was finding my way a bit and putting the pieces to the puzzle together. And now I think I'm I'm finding the way I, I want to play and putting it all together, being consistent with it, and then being tough as well. But yeah, um, <clears throat> I was getting close to a few players like Waller and Tamimi, players like that. Salazar, but they're not being able to like get over the line at, at key areas. So I think I have come around the corner a bit with that. And it's I think it's showing a bit in my matches. Yeah, <clears throat> it's definitely something we're not used to. Um having to stay in your hotel room for it was it was strange at first. Yeah. I think Manchester was two days altogether. Qatar was I think a four day uh quarantine. Um and you just, it's just something you have to adapt to. And yeah, maybe I wasn't quite um, preparing, preparing as well as I could, but I, I, I don't know how, how you can fill four days in a, in a hotel room, <laughs> really. Because, uh, yeah, you like, to, you like to get some match practice, don't you? Sharpen you up a bit. But I, I tried, yeah, it was basically just like experimenting, like, what do you do within four days? I was, I was trying to train in, in a hotel room. Maybe I got a few things wrong, but it was um, it was it was good to like. It's a challenge, isn't it? Got to, everyone. Everyone's in the same in the same position. Like it's not an excuse, is it? Because the other players are adapting a lot better. So like, I I think I, I've got used to it now that I've learned how to cope with that. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, whereas <clears throat> maybe sometimes I've got it wrong, as in like you'd usually maybe make the few days before a tournament a bit lighter but because now you have a few days a few light days when you're at the tournament I think I've I've, I've worked out a, a better way of like going about it like maybe going a bit harder with the training before you set off before you fly and then you're resting up while you're, you're on your flight your quarantine day your testing day whatever you got to do and then and then I'm ready to go so I think yeah I have <clears throat> I have adapted a bit to that a bit better, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think uh, I've, <clears throat> I've always thought I've, there's been parts of my game there to, that could show potential of getting up there, but I've not really been, um, like, like I said, piecing it all together. 
well. But now that I'm I'm doing that, I definitely think I can, yeah, get up to that level, top 20, maybe further. And I'm putting a lot of work in to get as high as I can, as soon as I can, really. Yeah. Really looking forward to it, yeah. I, I, I like every every new chance I get, every new experience I get on on the tour. Like I've not actually done that many World World Series events. So all these new events that I've, like all the Egyptian ones, all the, the Qatar, they're all new to me. So Alguna. <clears throat> so it's it's um it's all new experiences and I'm I'm looking I look forward to everyone really. And Chicago World Champs, biggest tournament, one of the big biggest tournament of the year. I can't um I can't say I'm not like buzzing like I could like I can see myself, you know, possibly taking someone out. You never know, and I'm. That's that's what that's what we all crave, don't we? Those those wins. Yeah. So could be a little eye on that, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It'd be, it'd be good. I don't see why not. Yeah. If, if if you're good enough to play in the team, you'll get in the team. And at the minute, I think I'm playing well enough. Um. So we'll just, I think results take care of themselves and then improves your ranking. That decides whether they get in the team. So I'm not thinking about it too much, but obviously I'm aware of the possibility. Yeah, yeah of course.